am going to work in my 2017 composite art journal and I am still working on April prompts for the My Year 2017 Facebook group and the prompt is crayons, pencils, and markers. Now you saw a couple days ago where I had created this melted crayon on a piece of blue jeans. I also have this multicolored background. I am going to use these today, but before I do, I'm going to paint my background this pretty Caribbean blue greenish color. my page is dry and I want to work with this piece here. I have a character that I'm seeing in here and just let me draw it out for you here. <music> Do you see where I'm going with this? I'm doing a big bunny. And he's got big feet. He's almost too large for the page. But I don't want to. I don't want to cut any more of this wonderful blue jean off. He's going to have a pocket here. He's going to have some carrots sticking out of here. I have to figure out how I want his hands. I know I want one hand coming this way holding the carrot. So I'm going to have to figure out the shoulder in here. His bunny ears. Kind of like that. And then he needs a hand coming this way. A little shoulder and a hand coming up this way holding the holding the carrot and I suppose the other hand could be going out this way holding some more. I think that's what I'll do. go I am liking this I've got this wonderful blue jeans in here I figured out his head and these are just pattern pieces right here I like these big old bunny feet so I'm debating what I'm going to do the heads and the feet out of am I going to try to do it out of painted paper 
or do I want to use some more of that blue jean? I decided to cut my shapes for the ears and the head and the hands and the big floppy feet out of blue denim. I'm going to be doing more art on this, but my next step is to glue down these pieces, and I'm going to do that with just Elmer's glue all. Okay, I glued down my pieces. I'm happy with how the bunny is taking shape. I really like this pocket. I'm going to enhance that some more and make it look more like a pocket. I like, or it, it could even be his torn knee here. I have the pocket up here. I think I'll just say that's the torn knee because that's probably what it is. <laughs> I like the shape of the ears coming out. He's holding carrots. But I want this to be more of a blue color in the background. So I have this 20771E2 blue. And I'm going to just put a light wash on this. sure I'm liking this. I'm going to see what I can do about removing some of this. was not working for me. It was too thick and clumpy. I don't mind it like this. I think I have some shadowing in there and I can work with this. I'm going to try my fine line paint applicator. I want more of a definition in here. So I'm just going to try to outline him in black. call him finished. The paint's very wet. I might do some more to it after the paint is dry. I tend to touch these black lines after I put them on and then it smears on my hands and then it gets every place. But basically I'm happy with it. The only thing I think I'll change is these little Easter eggs are kind of floating in space so I might put some little grass marks on there. You might see that on the finished piece. I don't know. I might change it out later. But it was just a way for me to use this 
blue denim piece that I had put wax on and I put wax on that sheet of paper and I picked out the orange spots on it and used it for the carrots. This little Easter bunny is enjoying his carrots. This was just a fun piece, another whimsical piece. I avoided putting a lot of stuff in the background. I kind of have a division line right here and I like that. I thought about pushing it more into the background with maybe a darker blue, but no, I think I'm just going to leave it alone as it is and call it finished and say, yay, happy Easter. I will see you on the next page.